Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy Economic Calendar of the Week. Each week, our news analysts review the upcoming economic events that you should be monitoring. This week sees a lot of data from China, which could cause some market turbulence, especially in Asian currencies as well as commodities. The non-farm payroll certainly provided an exciting end to a week that had been relatively somnolent in the equity markets. December is now a much greater possibility for a rate hike, even if some doubters remain. The economic week ahead is not as busy as last week, but China data will be crucial both for the country and for the Federal Reserve, who will still be cautious about the outlook for emerging markets. After the hit to the GDP USD last week from the Bank of England's meeting and inflation report, analysts will get more insight from Mark Carney's appearance in front of the Treasury Select Committee plus UK unemployment data on Wednesday. The markets will get a look at Chinese data starting on Sunday when data on exports and imports is released. Imports are down 20.4% over the year, but this reflects lower commodity prices as well as some softness in demand. Exports in August were down 3.7% over the year. In the US, the week kicks off on Monday with the Employment Trends Report, but on Tuesday, a number of second-tier indicators are slated for release. These include the NFIB Business Optimism Survey, export and import prices, wholesale sales and inventories, and the weekly data on chain store sales. In China on Tuesday, the October inflation data is issued, producer prices and consumer prices, with consumer prices up just 1.6% over the year. There is scope for China to further cut interest rates. On Wednesday in China, there is the monthly download of activity data, figures on retail sales, production and investment. Real retail spending is growing at a double-digit annual rate. In the UK, traders will see the release of the September employment report and October's tally for the claimant count. They were to be published alongside a raft of second-tier indicators on retail sales and house prices. On Thursday, the monthly budget figures are released with the JOLTS job openings series for the usual weekly data on claims and on Friday, finally, there is some top-shelf data to monitor in the US. October readings for producer prices are released with retail sales. There are also the preliminary consumer segment figures to watch. Economists expect that core producer prices probably rose 0.1% in October, with the annual rate near 0.8%. Meanwhile, retail sales may have lifted to a healthy 0.4% in October. Final consumer price data out for the Eurozone's four largest economies on Thursday and Friday were likely to attract attention in so far as they might factor in expectations for possible further QE from the European Central Bank in December and hence into movements in foreign exchange markets, potentially an important piece of the puzzle for the Fed too. Lastly, figures on Japanese machinery orders in September would arrive midweek.